guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my little setup right here. Honestly, I am on my kitchen area, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but this is a kitchen area of my house. And there's a lot of stuff around it, like even a dining table. But um, I had everything upstairs in my room before I had it down here. And honestly, I just could not take it. So I ended up just taking everything down. I didn't film for a couple of weeks because I was overwhelmed with the clutter and everything. So today I just decided to put everything back up. Um, exactly how I had it upstairs so everything I'm going to show you is kind of like my setup how I had it upstairs just kind of down here so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is I guess this right here so I got this set of three lamps it brings this one that is kind of like diagonal and it's a soft box and then it brought two others that I have in boxes just because I don't think I have any space for them but this is how it looks like I have some weights in here um, right in here if you can see I have some weights and some stuff just keeping it very sturdy um and this kind of goes over my head right here and this is where i sit so that is the first light that i have other than this one i have this ring light which i really really like i'm going to link this one because i love it so much i think the brand is esdi and i got it from amazon and it was i think a hundred dollars but it's honestly the best ring light i've ever had it's honestly so good and it's dimmable and it also like bends whichever way you want it like if you can see right here that kind of like bends um, and yeah, it goes from like warm to cool tone and it's just really really versatile and I really really like it It also does a great job at like illuminating the whole room um, So I don't need much other than this the only other light I have I think it's a really great buy I don't recommend everybody buying this, but if you do have the money to splurge I would definitely recommend it. So this is just a spotlight I got this one from Amazon as well. So it also brings this little diffusers right here right now I have just a clear one, but it brings a pink one a blue one and I think a red one so I really really like them because you can change kind of like the whole appeal of your video if that's what you're going for I just leave this one because I keep I think it gives me like a really nice glow like if I were to turn this off uh, my video would look a little bit dull but if I have it on I feel like it just looks really really nice this comes separate from the charger um if you want to buy the charger I think it's like $20 extra um, and the light just runs on batteries. So I just wanted to throw that out there. If you are looking for something like this, you can always take the diffuser off if you want more light as well. So I just have this on this little small ta um, small table that I got from Target. I believe it was like $10. And if I have any other lenses that I need, I just put them right here. Honestly, I just use two lenses to film just because I feel like I don't need anything like that. Um, anything more than that. I have the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 which I have a love and hate relationship with that and I also film if I have one more of a close-up I have I have the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 I don't find myself reaching out for any of my other lenses that I have I just kind of like go in between these two I use this one for my eye makeup and then just this one for overall makeup and it just works out well I'm usually just on 35 millimeters so maybe I'll switch to my 35 millimeter f2 if I do need that um, the camera that I use is this one and I really really like it. It's a Rebel T6i and I honestly have had it since I got like since it came out and I haven't find myself like wanting anything else. I have considered getting the ADD but I just like never make myself do it just because I feel like this works so great and I just don't need it. Um, but this one I really really like because it has Wi-Fi and it also has let me just go around. It's really hard. Okay so it has Wi-Fi and it also has this little viewfinder that comes in and out. So I do really, really like and recommend this camera. I feel like it's so great for the price. And right now you can probably get this used for like a really, really nice price. The tripod that I use on it is from Manfrotto. I do really like it, but if you're going to put such a heavy lens like the Sigma one that I have on this, I don't, not, I don't recommend this one just because I feel like the legs are so thin that um, anything that happens, I just feel like my camera is always at the verge of falling. So I do want to get a much sturdy um tripod if i'm going to continue to use this lens so one thing that i did get that i feel like is such a great investment was this little external battery so instead of using just um, rechargeable batteries or the batteries that come on the camera you kind of use this one and you plug it into the extension cord and you kind of have unlimited access to your camera and you can film as long as you want and it's literally like i wish i could take it off but it's the camera is going right now so i'm just going to show you like it kind of goes right here on your battery as it looks exactly like a battery okay so it comes out to the side right here every canon camera has this little slip right here and then that's it guys like you just plug it in you forget about the world and you just start filming and 
oh my gosh when i discovered this i was like what have i been doing because my camera only lets me um film for 30 minutes at a time and it was insane for me like switching batteries and i would just go insane so this is how everything looks from the other side and i feel like i really really like it i don't know We'll see. I haven't filmed any videos with this background in particular, but I do feel like the space is much better. I just feel like I can be a lot more creative. Um, let me just show you the back of this ring light real quick. So this is where you turn it on, and then it has some bottom buttons on the front, and this is where you would make it dimmable. So it has these two bu buttons right here, so you can make like the temperature on one and then how bright it is on the other. So I really like it. I'm not gonna do it right now because I spent a lot of time just trying to make it perfect and it's like on that point right now, so. Okay, so I got this table from Target. It's just like a, you know, arts and craft table and I feel like I really like it just because it's not as big as the other ones that I've seen. It's like a medium size and I feel like it fits everything perfectly that I need. So I have this mirror right here and I have it on top of this box just because, you know, we have to just use what we have at home sometimes. And then I have the microphone that I like to use and this one goes all the way to the camera and it's plugged into the camera. The reason I started using this one, I did have a Rode, um, I actually use all of the Rode ones that they have. I just feel like those collected a lot of like noise outside the, um, the, like the room. And also the other problem was that my camera, whenever it starts um, to focus, you could hear the focusing sound and it would drive me insane when I was editing. So this one is all the way over here so I can't really hear anything. Um, the only thing that I can pick up is like if I have you know, if I'm moving brushes on the table or anything I have on the table, but um, instead of like me putting it on my shirt, which is what I used to do, I used to have it right here. Um, I just put it right here um, with this clip and it's perfect. It never moves, it never collects any of those uh, sounds of me like moving or moving my shirt or just bumping into things. And I feel like it's really, really nice. I just really like it and it works out great. I haven't had any trouble with my audio lately, so I really like it. So the other thing that I have connected to my camera, other than that, is this little cable right here. It's just a mini HDMI cable that goes to a USB and is connected to my computer. And that way, I can just... Please pardon my appearance today. But that way, I can just go into this program right here um, that is called EOS Utility. You can download this free from the Canon website if you do have a Canon camera. And then you just plug it in and you can see everything. You can change your... Um, aperture here, your your aperture, your ISO, and your shutter speed. You can change your picture style, and you can change pretty much everything. So yeah, I really like it. Um, and you can start recording, stop recording, take pictures, whatever it is that you're doing. So I think it's really, really handy. So I love it. Okay, so I have my computer right here, and on top of it, I have this um, display, this monitor, and I have it connected to it. If I wanted to use both, I could, but obviously that would be like a waste of space on my desk. So. I just use this one instead and I have like I can just use my computer um, on the monitor and yeah my keypad there my mouse just like my you know external hard drive and everything like that and then over here I have my brushes and stuff here I put like any new makeup that I want to try out so I know and I don't forget about it so everything new I just like dump it here and yeah that's how the setup looks like so i think so far i've showed you pretty much everything honestly if i would recommend anything from this i would definitely recommend the battery for the camera and using this program so you can see yourself if you don't have a computer handy that you can use you can always use the um camera app there's a, there's an app for canon i'm gonna link it down below i forgot what the name is but there's an app that you can just um use in your phone or a tablet if you if your camera has Wi-Fi so that is really really handy the other two things that I have right here are these two remotes so the first one I love this one the first one I love I got this from Target so basically it comes with these two pieces this um, base right here and then this remote so what it does is that you plug in um, an extension cord and that's what I did and then everything that's connected to the extension cord would turn on and off um, from here so you always leave the extension cord on this is obviously just connected to this and then you just use this as a remote to turn it off and on this is such a lifesaver because I feel like people really underestimate how much work YouTube is and turning all these things on and everything off when you're about to film it just takes a lot of time um, especially for people like me that work a full-time job and do this on the side I feel like it just you need stuff like this that makes your life easier so basically I'm gonna turn this off and everything turn off except this one because I have it plugged to another outlet but if I turn back on everything's on 
So, pretty easy, huh? So, yeah, that's the first one. And then the other one is this Canon um, remote, and I use this one to take a picture. And I would just press this and just use it for my thumbnails, basically. So this was like, I think a dollar on eBay. But you can obviously get like the actual Canon ones on Amazon, I think. Yeah, that is pretty much my setup, I would feel like. The other, the only thing that really bothers me about my setup is my chair. Because it squeaks so much. I got this one from um, TJ Maxx. And I hate this chair so much. There's like no way of fixing it. But I, yeah, I think guys that I showed you everything that I wanted and it's pretty easy I feel like to set up something like this. Um, I don't think that you need everything that I have Obviously, I've collected all these things over time and I've seen what works for me if something doesn't work for me I just look for something new like for example the the um the mic, I struggle with the mics a lot. I feel like I bought so many mics that I didn't need. Also, if you have this ring light, I don't think you need anything else that, than this ring light. The only reason I have two extra lights is because I feel like this house is so like really 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 dark i don't get any sun on this part of the house so yeah i have an extra light for that and that is pretty much everything i feel like if you have if you guys have any questions about anything that i mentioned please let me know down below and i will try to link the videos that really helped me because i did watch a lot of videos from older youtubers they gave me some ideas especially um i can't remember her name but this was definitely um not something that I discovered myself. I definitely saw someone on YouTube mention this and I immediately went on Target and purchased it. You can also purchase this at Amazon. I feel like I saw it as well. But this is the video, guys, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions on how to use small spaces, and trust me, I know how to use small spaces. <laughs> so anyways, oh, there's something I didn't want to mention. So I have these two panels right here. So I use this to kind of bounce light back into the area if I don't have a lot of um, room or if I don't have a lot of light. So that's some, something that you can definitely use. Um, I got this from Home Depot. It's really inexpensive, and I just broke them down into two pieces. I'll show you. The only way I haven't put the the only reason I haven't put them up down here is just because I feel like the space is much bigger and I don't need to have it down here. Also, this is gonna be probably a temporary thing um, until I potentially move out of this um, house. So yeah, this is pretty much what I have. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer them down below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!